This is Mark. I'm going to give you a guided tour of the spiritstate.com website and web book platform. There are really two parts to the site. Uh, one is the front door, sort of the facade, uh, which this is. This is the home page. It comes in two flavors. Um, there's a version that actually has a slightly different look to it, and it's that one. And you may have to refresh your browser to get it, but uh, we just wanted to have a little variety. Um, I'm not going to show you what's behind these. These are just standard tabs. Most websites have an about page and a support page or help, etc. Um, I do recommend that you just check it out. There's not a lot of content there, but um, it'll give you a flavor for what, uh, you know, what Spirit State is about. Uh, we also have a book trailer for The Dormant Prophecy, and you can watch the movie by clicking this button right here. Uh, James has put together uh, some really cool music and uh, gives you a good peek behind the scenes of the Dorman Prophecy uh, from a look and feel perspective. So um, I highly recommend you check that out if you haven't. But the main thing I wanted to do is to just show you kind of a, a primer on how do you get signed up, registered, uh, and sort of up the learning curve with using the site. I'm not going to go into a lot of depth and detail. I'll probably do two videos, and the second one will be more of an a more of an advanced uh, tutorial. This is more of a, a primer or kind of an entry level. So for sign up, you just click the sign up button here. Sign up is free. So for free registration, you just put your name, your email, and select a password of your liking, and uh, and then click continue, and we will send you an uh, uh, confirmation email. And in that email, you will get a sort of a confirmation, or I should say an activation link. And if you click the activation link, you can come to the website and then hit login. And when you log in, just put your email address, password, and click login. And you are now in to the back end of the site. And this is where the webbook platform actually resides. And this is where 95% of the site exists. Um, maybe one or two percent is in the front end, which we were just looking at, the spiritstate.com site. So now that we're looking at the uh, back end, this is what we call the My Account section. Now there are about ten sections to the back end, so profile, library, notes, friends, bookmarks, comments, stats, store, and messages. These are all individual sections and they each have their own primary functionality. Each of these sections, whatever you're highlighted, has uh, these sort of row of tabs and they number between two and five typically and these tabs relate to the section you're in. So this is the personal profile tab, the sharing profile tab, the themes and navigation profile tab, and so forth. If you're in the library, for example, then you have tabs that relate to the library. So that's the main thing I wanted to mention to you relative to the navigation is it varies based on what section you're in. There are also four main icons up here in the upper left. This entire header remains persistent or consistent in use throughout the site. So once you're logged in, you have access to these four buttons. And this button in particular uh, is the one that we're in right now called My Account. So whenever you want to go to My Account, just click that. Whenever you want to do a search, just click that one. The search is the search panel as we refer to it. It's more than just a typical search. Uh, we really went and did a lot of homework on search in a book environment and decided that we wanted to have the ability to, to really have eight different modalities to do and conduct searches. And I'm going to go into it in more detail in the next video, the more advanced version. But just know that you just you can search the book, you can search for members, you can search for notes, you can search for comments, you can search for everyone's notes, just your friends or just yours. So it really has a lot of different nuance and uh, and, and sort of specific capacity that you can tap that really allows you to research and get into you know some deep deep research, which is cool. Um, so that's the search panel. The next one is the library itself, which we're in right now. This is the library. And then reading the book that you're reading, the, the most recent book that you just uh, last read, this will take you back to that page. So um, that's the way to do it. And you'll notice that when you hover over with your, your cursor any of these four icons, 
but you get a little pop-up message box that tells you what's there and uh, helps kind of describe what's behind that icon. So um, even if you forgot what I told you just now, um, you, you have these sort of cheat sheets here, which are real helpful. Um, whatever it says here, it will take you to the Spirit State homepage, and this is Logout. This is your public profile. So when you're in the profile section here, this is what you use to populate your public profile. So your name, if you want to add your Twitter account, or your Facebook account, or if you have a personal website, uh, all of that information goes into your personal profile. And you can choose to make that public or not share it at all. It's your choice. And the sharing is done right there. Again, I'm not going to go too deep into this because I think the next video will do a more in-depth uh, uh, position. The one thing I do want to show you um, is obviously the library, but before you get to the library, you really need to go to the store because that's where you get your books. The only book that's going to show up in your library after you register is going to be this one, and this is called the Spirit State User Guide. And uh, this is the equivalent of the um, uh, how do you navigate, how do you get around, what do the features mean, all of that kind of information is contained in the Spirit State User Guide. So the User Guide looks like this. This is going to take me back to the page I was just at, which happened to be page 6, right down here. And, um, but at any rate, I can, I can move around in the User Guide, find out information. This particular piece of information is about login. But I can search on anything, and by using the search panel, I can really find information that I need. Just by putting a search in here, it'll take me to those things that I'm interested in learning about uh, without having to go through all 20 pages of the user guide. So it's a nice way of getting quick information. Um, the, the other thing I wanted to show you in the regards to the library is that in order to get some books in there, you need to go to the store. So the store is right here. And once you're in the store, click on the books. And once you're in the book section, you can click on any either the Dorman Prophecy or the Ancient Arrow Project. The Dorman Prophecy is the latest book from James, and the Ancient Arrow Project, I believe he wrote sometime in 1999, something like that, maybe the year 2000. Um, and that, that's sort of the, back, the backbone, if you will, of the wingmakers.com website. That entire book is being made available now uh, reimagined on this platform uh, for eight dollars and for eight dollars you get lifetime access to this platform uh, for the ancient arrow project twelve dollars is what it costs to get the Dorman prophecy but again it's lifetime access and it just helps us defray the cost of hosting and all of the technical feature sets as well as improving the platform and evolving it over time so all you have to do is you know you can look at the information you can read reviews about the Dorman prophecy uh, you, if you want to use a credit card, you just click in there. You do have to uh, select your payment type. We do take gift certificates as well, and I'll show you how that works. Back here, if you use the gift certificate tab, you just click on the book, <clears throat> enter the recipient's full name, their email address, and a message to them, fill out the credit card information, and click Submit. Your recipient will then get a email from us with instructions as to how to redeem their gift certificate and then they can activate the book once you've bought the book or um, you've elected to try it out then all you have to do by the way the ancient arrow project you have a try before you buy a button right here it gives you a 30-day trial um, then all you do is you go to your library and then you select the book so for example I'm just going to select the Norman prophecy and this is where I lost I last left off I'm on page 439 chapter 56. So uh, that's where I'm at with this book. Um, the way you navigate, you've got your forward button, you've got your back button, uh, you've got page flip, which is the icon right here, and page flip, you can go fast. If you hold your cursor over this, it'll go kind of a middle, mid-speed, if you will, and if you hold it down, it'll go very fast. And then it can go backwards as well, the same way. Go to the first page or the last page. Once you find a page you want to click to, you just click it, and that page will come up. So there we are. Um, page tools is another way you can navigate the uh, the book. Uh, table of contents is probably the one of the quickest ways because you have all 67 chapters uh, at your beck and call here, 
and with these you can just click on any one and go directly to that particular section of the book and uh, so so page tools is real nice um, I want to show you one other thing here with regards to the reader map as we call it the reader map is a way to connect with other people and to sort of see who else is reading the book in real time with you at any particular point in time and you can actually look at them uh, across the globe so it, it's a real cool way of kind of connecting with other people now right now I'm the only one on we haven't released the website yet so I'm sort of a lonely island unto myself here uh, this is me but imagine if there were hundreds of these markers um, all across the planet and you could just click them and by clicking them you could get just a little abstract of the profile I can click this and go directly to their profile and so here's my profile and now I can learn a little bit about that person and if I wanted I could uh, do a friend request and become friends with that person so it's a real nice way of kind of connecting with other people and getting to know them the other thing that's really cool about the reader map is that when you go to the reader map and I'm just gonna bring it back up a second is that you'll notice that you can do it uh, for my friends or you can do it for readers near me so you could literally say I want to just look at the readers near me show results click that and then you'll see within a 50, uh, 50 mile radius of your location who else is reading the book so it's a nice way to connect with others you might even be able to meet for coffee or put a study group together uh, whatever you like you can also switch between books as simple as that okay so that's the reader map I really recommend you know checking that out so it's a really cool thing I'm not going to get into these other features uh, for sake of time I do want you to know that there's a uh, a YouTube channel which allows you to get um, more sort of instructional videos on this over time we'll have three there at launch but I'm sure over time we'll have other kinds of uh, videos so you might want to check into that from time to time as well um, the other thing I wanted to show you was back to the gallery uh, just a quick a quick look at the galleries themselves now there are two galleries and, and two books the ancient Darrow project is the one we're looking at right now um, the ancient Darrow project um, s those of you who are familiar with the Wingmaker site will recognize this this art it, it's a little different orientation than perhaps you've seen it before but um, these are the chamber paintings the 24 chamber paintings from the Wingmaker's site called the ancient Darrow project and you can go through any of the galleries um, they are long galleries uh, but it will take you through the galleries uh, kind of painting by painting the key thing to know is that there's a scroll bar at the bottom you just grab it and scroll across just like that so that's all there is to it um, the Dorman Prophecy has one as well and the Dorman Prophecy one the difference here is that it's all different art and it's about four to five times larger than the Ancient Arrow Project in terms of the artwork and it also has a lot of um, uh, excerpts from the book in, incorporated in it and there are hidden links in this particular gallery so if you click certain links you will find them by just rolling over and checking out things uh, you'll get additional information and content I'm not going to show you but just one I think it'll give you a pretty good idea of, of uh, how it lays out and then um, as I said earlier these four buttons are remaining in that same same space so if you wanted to go back to my account you just click that and you're right back to your profile your, your personal profile and uh, here's the logout and that's what I'm going to do so I'm just going to log out and uh, this is Mark Hempel signing off I hope I hope this has been helpful to you and uh, I hope to see you around and that uh, you, you hang out here make this one of your hangouts on the web if you will okay Thanks so much. Bye-bye.